Hi, I'm Susan Rutledge, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can mathematically place any object or text box on your artboard in Adobe Illustrator. Now, this is extremely helpful when you're working on a layout and objects or photographs or text need to be placed in a specific location or when they need to be an exact distance from one another. First, I'm going to show you how to use the XY coordinates to numerically place objects. Then, I'm going to show you a slightly faster way, which I actually use more often. Just know that faster isn't always better, and sometimes you'll benefit from knowing how to use the XY coordinates, so I'm going to go over both methods. Now, to show you how the XY coordinates work, I've created this grid on my artboard. And the numbering of the grid for Illustrator always begins with a zero in the top left corner. And this is a value for both the X and the Y axis, or the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. So the left to right direction is the horizontal axis. We call this X. And the simplest way for me to tell you to remember this is X is how far a point is from the left side of the artboard. Then the up and down direction is the vertical axis, which we call the Y value. And the easiest way to know the value here is to look for how far it is from the top of the artboard. Again, X is how far we are from the left side, and Y is how far we are from the top. Now, every anchor point on any object on the artboard can be located or it can be placed by using these XY coordinates in the Properties panel. So I'm going to place a couple of objects on our artboard and show you how this works. I'll get the Rectangle Tool, Keyboard Shortcut M, and I'll drag out one object and we'll give it a yellow fill. And then I'll drag out another object and give it an orange fill. And then I'll get the Selection Tool, Keyboard Shortcut V, and I'm going to select the yellow rectangle. And let's look over here at the Properties panel. There is a little rectangle over here in the Transform area, and this is going to represent the object that is selected on my artboard, which happens to be the yellow rectangle. And based upon the reference point that I choose, and I can click all the way around here, these X and Y values are going to change because every one of these reference points is going to be a little bit different. Now, when I have this yellow rectangle selected and I click on the top left reference point, Illustrator is telling me that I am 2.711 inches from the left side. This is how far I am from the left side, and it's telling me that I'm two and a half inches plus a little bit from the top. And we can look here at the ruler and see that's exactly where it is. Now, if I want for my rectangle to be two inches from the left, I'm looking at the X value. So I'd come in here and I would type two inches and hit the Enter key, and Illustrator moves the rectangle over to where it's two inches from the left, and let's say I want it to be one and a half inches from the top. That's the Y value. So I'll come in here and I will type 1.5 and press Enter. Now I can move objects around just mathematically like this. I can also place them in very specific places in relation to other objects. So I want the orange rectangle to be at the same distance from the top of the artboard as the yellow rectangle. And I want it to be placed a quarter of an inch away from the right side of the yellow rectangle. Now the first thing I'll do is I'm going to look at the top right reference point. So I'll come over here to the Properties panel and I'll click on the top right reference point and my X value is how far I am from the left side. I don't want to have to remember this big long number so I'll select it and I'm going to copy it. Keyboard shortcut Command C and then I'm going to switch over to the orange rectangle and I'll choose the top left reference point because after all this is what's going to be next to this yellow rectangle and I'm going to 
just highlight this number here and I'll paste in the X value that I copied. I'll use the keyboard shortcut command V. And then because I want for it to be a quarter of an inch to the right of the yellow rectangle, I'm going to type in a plus 0.25 and press enter. And now my orange rectangle is a quarter of an inch to the right of the yellow rectangle. And then let's come back and look at the yellow rectangle. And we're going to look at the reference point for Y, which is how far it is from the top. And it's 1.5 inches from the top. I can remember that. I'm going to select my orange rectangle. I have a top reference point selected. I'll just come in here and highlight this and type in 1.5 and press enter. Now I have exactly what I was wanting and I've done it all numerically. I can do this with a text box as well. I'm going to get the type tool, keyboard shortcut T, and I'll drag out a text box and I want the text box to be a quarter of an inch from the bottom of the orange rectangle and I want it to be in line with the orange rectangle and a quarter of an inch to the right of the yellow rectangle. First I'll come over and I'll select the orange rectangle and I'm going to look at the bottom left reference point. I want the text box to be right in line with this orange rectangle and the X value is going to be how far away it is from the left side of the artboard. So let's look at where we are here. The X value is 5.0671. So I'm going to copy this command C and then I'll select my text box. I can use this bottom left reference point. I'll highlight this X value here and I'll paste in the value that I copied from the orange rectangle. I'll use the keyboard shortcut command V and then I'll press the enter key and my text box has moved and it's in line with the orange rectangle but I need for it to be just a quarter of an inch below the rectangle. So let's first select the orange rectangle and we're going to look at the Y value of the bottom left reference point. It's 3.6619. I'm going to copy that keyboard shortcut command C. Then I'll select my text box and I'm going to use the top left reference point. I'll highlight this and paste the new value in keyboard shortcut command V and then I'm going to type in plus 0.25 and Illustrator is going to do the math for me. I'll press enter and now my text box is exactly where I wanted it. It's lined up with the orange rectangle and there's a quarter of an inch distance here and a quarter of an inch distance here. I'm going to delete the rectangle and the text box because I want to show you that you can use this same XY principle with any shape on the artboard. It doesn't have to be a rectangle. I'll get the ellipse tool, keyboard shortcut L, and I'll drag out an ellipse on the artboard. When I look over to the properties panel though, I'm still seeing a rectangle, but I'm still able to use the XY coordinates on this rectangle because any shape on my artboard that's not a rectangle is going to have an invisible bounding box around it. And I can make that bounding box visible, which will help us understand how to use these XY coordinates. So I'm going to come up to view and show bounding box. The keyboard shortcut is shift command B. Now when I look at the reference points, I know exactly what it's referring to. So let's do the same thing we did with our orange rectangle. We're going to make the circle line up with the top of the rectangle and we're going to place it a quarter of an inch from the right side of the rectangle. And first we're going to calculate the Y value. That's how far it is from the top down. It's one and a half inches. That's going to be easy to remember. I'll select my circle and I'm just going to type in 1.5 and press enter. So I have the right height. Now I need to figure out what the value is so that I can place my circle a quarter of an inch away from the rectangle. So we're going to select the rectangle and we're going to look at this top reference point. Could actually use any of these three reference points on the right side of the artboard. We're looking at how far it is from the left side of the artboard. So that's the X value. I'm going to 
copy the X value of my rectangle, keyboard shortcut command C, and then I'll select my circle and I'll choose one of the reference points on the left side. I'll highlight the X value and paste over it using the keyboard shortcut command V. And if I press enter here, the rectangle and the circle are gonna be right next to each other. I don't want that, I want them a quarter of an inch apart. So I'm gonna type plus 0.25 and press enter. And now both of these objects are a quarter of an inch apart. And that's how you use the XY coordinates to place different objects in specific locations. Now then, let's look at a simpler way to do this. I'm gonna drag out another rectangle. I'll get the rectangle tool, keyboard shortcut M. Then I'll get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V. I wanna make sure that I have my smart guides turned on. I'll come up to view and come down and you can see Smart Guides has a check next to it. The keyboard shortcut, by the way, is Command U. And Smart Guides is really helpful when you're working on specific placement, on intersecting objects and on moving objects. So what I'm gonna do is move my rectangle over and I want it to intersect with the yellow rectangle. And I'm seeing the intersect sign but it looks like it's only lining up on the vertical sides and not at the top. So let's select both of these objects and I'll come over to the properties panel and here in align, I'm going to click on vertical align top. And now you can see that these objects are aligned at the top. I want for my orange rectangle to be a quarter of an inch away from the yellow rectangle. All I have to do is select the rectangle, come up and choose Object, Transform, Move. This opens the Move dialog box. This is so much faster in my opinion. I want to make a horizontal move of 0.25 for the quarter inch. I don't want a vertical move, so I'm going to type in zero. Those are the only numbers I have to be concerned about and I'm going to say OK and instantly I have the movement that I needed. Now, if you have to have a specific location to start with, you may need to have those XY coordinates, but once you have it placed, you can use the Move dialog box to quickly move any other object a specific distance away. Now I'm gonna come over to the Layers panel and I'm gonna hide my graph and then I'll come back to the Properties panel. I wanna show you how helpful Smart Guides can be when you're working on placing your objects and text boxes a specific distance from an object. I'll get the Type Tool, Keyboard Shortcut T, and drag out a text box, and I'll get the Selection Tool, Keyboard Shortcut V. I want to quickly set this up to where it lines up at the top, and it's a quarter of an inch from the orange rectangle, and look what's happened. Smart Guides is actually showing me where I need to place this text box so that it is the same distance away from the orange rectangle as the orange rectangle is from the yellow rectangle. And I just release my mouse and I have great placement here. So I find that using the Move dialog box and the Smart Guides and sometimes actually using the Align tools work faster than using the XY coordinates. When you might need those XY coordinates is when you have to have that first object in a very specific location. But this should get you started in placing objects in very specific locations and then uniformly separating them with the same distance between one another. Well, I hope this tutorial has been helpful and that you'll join me again soon. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, would you do that right now while you're thinking about it? It'll help me and it'll help you not miss any of my future tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.